Okay, let's add the flight path. Investigators now turn their attention to the weather conditions on the night Seoul 5428 crashed. This is the flight path from Neuken to Komodoro. Look what's waiting for them here. They flew right into this cold front. Investigators wonder if the pilots were aware of the icing conditions and took the proper steps to protect the plane. It's something only one person can answer. The airline's flight dispatcher provided the crew with crucial information. Investigators discover the report the flight dispatcher provided did not indicate the potential for severe icing. The report you gave them suggested icing would be mild. But it was actually severe. Where did you get your report? The team learns that because the airport's meteorological office closed at 4 p.m., the weather report the dispatcher provided was more than five hours old and no longer accurate. But establishing that the pilots encountered more severe weather than they expected is not enough to prove that ice brought down their plane. In icing conditions, pilots use the plane's anti-ice protection. On the Saab 340A, that consists mostly of pneumatic boots made of rubber. The boots inflate and break up the ice on the wing's leading edge. But did a malfunction of the ice protection bring down Seoul Flight 5428? <laughs> Investigators of Seoul Flight 5428 scour the wreckage for confirmation that a failure in the ice protection system brought the plane down. All that survived are the valves. Okay, let's get them checked out. The primary function of the valves is to control the flow of pressurized air that inflates the ice protection boots. Was there a problem with the valves? When they test the valve components, it's discovered that enough pressurized air was passing through the valves to inflate the boots. Take a look. No failures. If the pilots knew they were flying in ice and the ice protection system was working, then ice alone doesn't explain the accident. 